Whoa. All right, so the bluegill should be over here, about 10 yards from where I'm standing, so. I don't know, I might have, well, I'd be very, very quiet, because if I spook them, they'll run off, but they'll come back. But it looks like there's huge carp over here, so we'll see what we can do. Well, there's a big one. Come on, fish. It's pond so bad at the bluegill. The bluegill don't even bite. Oh yeah. Woo! First fish, good. Thank you, I haven't caught a fish in forever, it feels like. There we go, our first species. Little bluegill. Alfind. Here we go guys with the hot dog little bluegill. Right here. You can see the nice colors on them. Looks pretty good size. Thanks for catching my bait dude. Appreciate it. See ya. So there's one. So we got one species knocked off. Um we got a bluegill. We gotta get a sunfish or a uh, pumpkin seed, and we possibly could get a bass. Well, it's gonna be a really good chance we get a bass, because bass in here love the hot dogs, but who knows at this pond, these bass, feels like these uh, bass in this um, pond have given up on fishing, because there's so many people, well, like me, using hot dogs and, uh, what's it called, hot dogs and uh, worms, like real bait, and they don't even touch the artificial bait. But that's why I like fishing for panfish here. But realistically, the bass fishing is not so great. We might come out here and catch one to two bass. Or realistically, you stay for two hours, probably catch like 40 to 50 panfish. Oh. Oh man, I keep missing them. There's like five or six over here. Miss them, so. Got another one. Oh, a little fighter. There we go, our second fish. Whoa. Pretty sure this is a uh, sun. Oh my god, oh, sorry. Go, oh, dude. So it's two fish. <laughs> Pretty sure that was a sunfish. Mm. Little yellow belly. So we got two, two fish knocked out. Steven gets some more. Hopefully, let's see if a bass can bite. That felt like a bass, but this pool's so small. It feels like you have a bass, so I would recommend one of these finesse ugly stick rod and reels. Another one. Oh my gosh, see? That one felt like a huge bass. Look at that little dude. Hey. Well, it looks like you got your mouth ripped off by something. So here we go, there's our third fish. Another bluegill. So we got a uh, sunfish and two bluegill. That's three. I mean, this is fun because I like, I mean, you still, okay, still have your bait and all you gotta do is cast out and as soon as the bait hits the bottom, then you smack. It's a lot better in catfishing, a lot better in bass fishing when they don't bite. Here's another one. Oh, nope. Dude took my little bait. <laughs> Tricked me. Fooled me, buddy. I mean, I, I mean, other stuff works besides a hot dog. Like you can use earthworms mealworms, freaking cicadas, dragonflies, fireflies, anything. You even need like artificial bait to catch these. Because to me, these fish are very, very aggressive and they think they're like way bigger than they are. So anything that's in their face, they will attack. I have caught big bluegill off bass crankbaits. 
which is really crazy. Especially when they're like spawning and you throw like a little uh, jerk bait at them or something, they'll freaking destroy it because they'll get mad at it. Got another, oh my gosh, the little dude took it off again. Darn. So that was probably like the fifth or sixth time I got my bait stolen. But I caught three fish already, so I got three of these little guys. Hopefully you can get a lot more. Like see, there's a school right here, like I've been saying all day, right here. Three or four feet out, there's like at least a hundred of them. I could see them. There you go. Nice sunfish, baby. Woo! You can tell it's the sunfish because they got yellow bellies and stuff. And the bluegill don't have those. And the sunfish are pretty big. And they fight a lot harder. And a good thing with these little hooks is that if they do like gut hook it, like I just did, you just like pull up on it and you can easily get it out. So there's one right there. I mean, he's bleeding a little bit, but hook she should be good. Fish. All right, so I caught four fish in a matter of what, five minutes. So I like doing that. I'm gonna see if I can get another one. We got the sunfish species off, bluegill species off. If we can get a bass, that would be great, but I don't know. There might probably be deep in the water since it's so hot out. There's a big carp. I need to continue my carp video. There's another one. Look at that. As soon as it hit another sunfish. Or bluegill. Sunfish or bluegill. To be honest, I really don't know the difference, but I'm just guessing. <laughs> I think the sunfish have the yellow bellies and the bluegill don't. And they're really, they are really, they got sharp teeth on them too. I kind of want to catch one of these and put it in my tank. Comment below and tell me if you want me to catch one of these bluegills and put it in my fish tank, because I think that would be cool to keep it as a pet. I mean, there's so many in here. And realistically, we do, I do pay for the fish be stock because there's an annual neighborhood fee, so. I could, and I don't know the guy that runs the lake, and I'm pretty sure if I ask him, if I can catch one bluegill and put it in my fish tank, he ain't gonna care. Because I have came here, caught about 15 or 20 bluegill, used them for catfish bait. And they do eventually die, they do die by getting eaten, so I don't think they would care me keeping it in my fish tank, but I don't know if my sickle would like that. A sickle would probably kill it, unless it's a big enough bluegill, because my sickle is very territorial. See, here they go, they got it. And we'll have to take it for about a second or two, maybe five seconds to pull up. Oh, nope, fooled me again. Fool me once, you fool me twice, but you will not fool, oh. Fool me once, you fool me twice, but you will not will fool me three, yeah, you did, you fooled me three times. <laughs> times they scatter away, and I got one. See, that's a blue go right here. So it's perfect bait for catfish. Look at that bluegill. This little guy right here. That's a bluegill. The difference between this, I think, and a bluegill is sunfish have these yellow bellies, and the bluegill don't just like blue and silver, but the sunfish have these really bright yellow bellies, and to me, they're way bigger than bluegill. All right, dude, see ya. All right, guys, so basically, I want to talk about the Florida trip right now. So unfortunately, I did not catch any fish there. I think it was because there were so many people down there, so many people riding jet skis, sailboats, and boats. There was probably about 100 to 200 people around me. So, I mean, it was pretty impossible to catch a fish. I sat out there for like six to eight hours all t t uh, together, and I did eventually hook up with a fish. It was a sand shark, unfortunately, and what sand sharks do is if you don't have a steel eater, they freaking bite it with their teeth and it rips off. So I didn't get that one in. I had one bite out of 10 hours of fishing, so that was unfortunate. But on the last day, I could have gone fishing, but I decided to do um, scuba diving. So check that video. It's pretty. It's a pretty good video. You see pinfish, trout. I don't know what other fish are, but the water's pretty clear. It's not really, really clear like the Bahamas, but it's, it's good enough to see. So 
that's good scenery and stuff and it was a good cool down and, and we saw dolphins and all that so that was really fun but i will be back in tampa and i will catch a fish not every trip you're going to go on you're going to catch a fish like i said even if you go to florida but just depends on the weather it was about 100 degrees so i think the water was too hot again too many people and oh well but it doesn't really matter but um i just want to say thanks again for watching another exciting episode of hook and bass 92 and comment below and tell me what you, where's, what's your favorite place to fish at when you're on vacation hit that like button subscribe and as always catch big fish have a good day all right guys what is up um so basically i just got back in ohio like two days ago um I really don't want to go bass fishing today, but I decided to do some pan fishing today. So I got my pan fish bait and that's what it is, is a hot dog. 